tropical depression 10 is forecast to become Italia today and there is a slight change in the forecast that is seeing way too much for us to ignore. So we're going to be taking a look at all that is expected of the system as well as Franklin which is likely to intensify quickly and become a category 4 hurricane. As such Bermuda should be on watch as it should make a very close approach by the middle of this week and additionally there are a couple of tropical waves that we want to take a look at and before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Alright, so let us go ahead and kickstart things and we are returning to the satellite imagery here. We can see that there's quite a bit going on. We've got some activity to the east of the uh, Lesser Antilles and that is not really going to be moving in. And then we have two tropical waves out there. Another one is going to emerge off Africa and we might see some development of it. Matter of fact, let's go on to the National Hurricane Center's Outlook map. And here we see this area highlighted a 20% chance that we could see development and notice that you don't see an X and that is because that disturbance uh, that low pressure area has not yet developed but once it does so then we're gonna see it being marked and once it starts to take advantage of the environment once conditions are conducive enough for that to happen then we will see this chance gradually increase for the system and then we've got 92 L not expected to become anything 10% chance of development not a concern and then we have Franklin now Hurricane Franklin should not be taken out of the picture so it is going to be intensifying over the next couple of days and is expected to become a cat for hurricane and it is going to be passing very close to Bermuda. Let's go on to the cone forecast. So as of right now, there are no watches and warnings in place. However, this is the cone of uncertainty and it's called that because the center can pass anywhere within the cone it doesn't necessarily have to follow with this trajectory that is expected right now so if you're in bermuda you want to keep watch because it's, this is just to track the center of the system it does not show the size and franklin could be a very massive and powerful hurricane by the time it is going to be moving by uh, as we head into the midweek so you want to keep watch even the national hurricane center states that uh, interests in bermuda should monitor the progress of Franklin and so I will be keeping you guys posted though uh, and this is not going to be moving into the US it is unlikely to move into Atlantic Canada it is just going to be moving out to sea and so let's now go ahead and take a look at the vicinity of the Caribbean here we are in the satellite and uh, there is some more shower and thunderstorm activity developing in association with tropical depression 10 which is expected to become Italia so uh, a lot of the activity dissipated last night but here we have these thunderstorms thunderstorms popping up that rotation is still evident that counterclockwise spin and so we see that the moisture in association with this extends all the way into parts of Central America going down into parts of northern Nicaragua and even for Jamaica as well so uh, since yesterday it has been a rather gloomy and rainy day for some areas looking into the vicinity of the Cayman Islands going to parts of western Cuba and even sections of the Yucatan there could be some periods of very heavy rainfall and that could trigger flooding so guys please be aware of that matter of fact we have those watches and uh that watch and the warnings in place so before we head to the cone forecast i want to take you guys to the rainfall forecast for the caribbean so here we are taking a look at the, uh, this map here coming from euro and where we see more of those shades of oranges and reds and burgundies and those uh purples and pinks that is indicating a lot of rainfall so in association with franklin and or depression but thankfully in terms of depression 10 most most of that is going to be offshore but nonetheless there could still be some periods of very heavy rainfall across some spots of western Cuba where there is a tropical storm warning in place and there's also a watch and uh, also there's a warning for parts of the Yucatan Peninsula and so we're going to be going on to that in a moment but some substantial rainfall likely across some parts of Central America through today uh, even going to islands of the Caribbean the Cayman Islands Jamaica Hispaniola the rest of Cuba and uh, as we head further east we see that things get a bit drier much not expected for the virgin islands maybe some showers here and there across puerto rico and then uh, a bit of activity possible across parts in guadalupe and dominica but heading down to trinidad tobago also going to the abc islands and into the Guyanas. much is not expected through today it should be a pretty sunny sunday and so uh, let's now go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast of depression 10 so maximum winds have increased to 35 miles per hour since yesterday and the system is moving very 
very slowly to the south at 5 miles per hour. So we're going to have this sort of erratic movement before it solidifies on that track up to the north as we head into tomorrow. And it is not going to be moving very quickly at first, but eventually it is expected to pick up in its acceleration. And it seems as though uh, the National Hurricane Center has the system slowing down a bit because initially landfall was expected to be around Tuesday night going into Wednesday. Now it could be late Wednesday morning, probably heading to Wednesday afternoon when landfall is expected. So this is pretty interesting here. Under the right environmental conditions, which there are, there's a lot of moisture, uh, the water temperatures are off the charts, and there isn't a whole lot of dry air to intrude and disrupt the system to the point it won't intensify. So we're seeing this kind of slowed with acceleration expected of the system, and uh, eventually it could make landfall along the Big Bend area of Florida. But in terms of where we'll experience landfall, that is still pretty much unknown right now because there can be shifts in the track here. So there are likely to be shifts as a matter of fact. And uh, I also want to point out something else to you guys. So as I put on the thumbnail, the expected peak intensity of uh, or incoming Idalia has increased. So this is something I've noticed with the National Hurricane Center time and time again, especially with the major hurricanes in the Gulf. For example, Ida back in 2021, uh, Ida had peak winds of 150 miles per hour, not very far from Cat 5 intensity, but the initial forecast called for peak winds of 110 miles per hour before it would make landfall and uh, Ida strengthened way further than that. So initially with uh, Depression 10, yesterday's first advisory called for peak winds of 75 miles per hour. That is weak hurricane and now that has increased to 90 miles per hour. Strong Cat 1 hurricane going on to Cat 2 status right there. So very interesting and uh, do I think this will become a major hurricane? I think it can do so over the course of the next couple of days. Trust me, it does not take a full day for these systems to rapidly intensify jumping from one category to the next and so there are also those anomalously warm temperatures uh, surface temperatures and the very deep warm waters uh, so there's a lot of energy to support this system here becoming a major hurricane so that isn't out of the picture but uh, with the increased time expected over in the eastern Gulf of Mexico that is going to be calling for both good and bad news good because there's more time to prepare bad because it is going to be a lot stronger the more it is over those uh, warm waters and those uh, that favorable environment for development and for further development and intensification to take place and so we have seen many times with these catastrophic events the most recent was Ian last year and uh, that was just very horrible in uh, parts of Florida and now Northwest Florida should brace for impacts from or Idalia uh, or expected Idalia not yet designated as a tropical storm but should be later today but of course guys i will continue to keep you updated so that you're never caught off guard and so i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to and as always remember to be with wise